Welcome back to the survival let's play. We come to you from our balcony of our starter house which we built last episode in the first episode and we said last episode that we needed to add some details in which is what we're going to be doing in this episode as well as some other things. I have put in some windows in between episodes because I wanted to just get those laid out and figure out where they were going to go and so now we as you can probably see behind me the inside is still very empty so we're going to finish decorating the inside. So. We've got some window here, we've got some little details. I've put some lanterns on the ends of the roofs. And if we come over around here, the end here is a very big blank space. And now we have a window, which I really love. It's a really big window and I think it looks great. It looks good from the inside as well. We've even got a door now. I brought all of my stuff from over there and I just chucked in a whole bunch of chests down here and put some really rough labels on and most of them are fairly empty um, but I think this is good enough to get us started good enough for a kind of starter storage area um, I just wanted to get everything moved in over here so that it was here but the rest of this space is empty we can see this is the balcony we've got this main area and then up here we have like a little area up here with our bed we're definitely going to swap that out for a different colored bed probably red because this is just we, we've got clashes so yeah we're going to decorate the inside we also are going to get some set up crafting stuff we're going to have like a i'm going to put a uh, a smoker here i think that will look really cute this is the chimney that goes outside so i think that'll look really good I was thinking of putting my enchanting setup here, but now I'm not sure. I really love this big window and I don't really want to hide it. And I think that it might be better to have our enchanting setup in a separate building. So I think I'll get some decorations in here, maybe like a potion brewing stand set up instead. Um, all the stuff that you need for the basics for your starter house we're going to get set up in here and get everything decorated and get some like proper lights in because currently we just have random torches around so let's go ahead and get that done our decorating is complete I'm really happy with this I spent a really long time putting things down and then moving them again as you might have seen I put things in different places to how they now are but I'm I think I'm happy with this this configuration now we will add some more things as we go I'd really like to add some bookshelves at some point I've kept these free to 
grow some nether wart once we get some. This is going to be my like potion brewing area. I'm going to put a potion stand here. Um, we've just got some barrels around. Um, you might notice there isn't a furnace. There is a smelter for food. What I'd like to do is have the smelting and the furnaces and everything over by where we have our mine so that we can just throw everything into the smelter when we come out of the mine. So I haven't put a furnace in here. I have got a smoker for some food and I've got behind here I've got a hopper so that it will go into this barrel when I cook stuff which is really handy. And downstairs still mostly just looks the same. Um, I added a, a lantern and I added the same thing with the compost so that anything I get can just chuck in this hopper and it will just collect as bone meal down here which is a handy little tool to have early game upstairs we've just got our little bedroom area with a little plant and a lantern and yeah you can kind of see over here which I quite like what I'd really like to do is hang these lanterns with chains and like have them hanging further down um, I don't have any chains and I am pretty much out of iron now. I used all my iron that I have collected so far on cauldrons and lanterns and things like that. Maybe if we find a mine shaft, I will steal some chains from there and then we can kind of have our lanterns hanging from chains so they're a bit close to the downstairs ground. I have just collected some azalea leaves the flowering ones which are my favorite i would really like to add some more greenery inside but i'm not sure how to do that yet so i'm gonna just leave it for now i am gonna add some greenery on the outside of this house soon i need to harvest all of this wheat that's for sure so i really love this interior now I'm really happy with this at the moment like I said a few things will get added as we get them uh, but for now I think this is a really cute cozy starter home um, it's got everything that we need I think I'm gonna build a little cow pen out the back here and we're gonna go and collect some cows there are some over that way we saw them before and maybe also grab some sheep as well there were definitely cows here before there's one We need two of you. Would you like to come down here? Yeah. There's another friend over here. Let's grab you as well. I've got three, so if we lose one, it's not it's not too big of a deal. There's definitely some sheep over here somewhere. I didn't check the time before I left. It's it's getting dark and I'm in a forest with three cows. No, come back, come back, come back. There's one, there's one, come here. Why didn't I bring my bed? This is this is gonna go terribly. There's a zombie. There's a sheep. I see a sheep. I see your little face. Oh, there's a creeper as well. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No. I think I'm just going to go home. I'm going to come back for you. I promise. We're not we're not that far from home. I'll come back for you. I'm going to go sleep. Definitely need to get some pathways. I see light. Ow. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's try this again. My cows and my sheep are in this forest somewhere. We have three cows and two sheep. And we're going to try again. I can see our, the top of our house. The little red, red peak sticking out above the trees. I love it. Into the swamp we go. It gets a bit tight in here. So, you know, stay close or you'll get lost. Okay, guys. We're going to cross a river. You good? You can swim, right?
they look like they're nodding because I'm bobbing and they're following. <laughs> and they just all look like they're nodding at me. <laughs> okay, come on. Enough of that. Stop being silly. It's really not a very wide river, is it? You just gotta get to here. Just to here. Here we go, look. This is land again. I get lost in here at the best of times when I'm by myself. You've gone in the you've gone in the water again. Come on. There's our house. Okay, we've almost made it, guys. Almost made it. And we're we're back. We've we made it. You in there. That's it. Good. You two over here. Yep. Yep. That's it. This way. We are definitely going to build a proper little barn for these guys. Um but I'm not sure exactly what I want to build yet and where I want to build it. So for now they just have these little enclosures just so that I can get some cows breeding up, get some leather for enchanting, get some beef because we're currently still living off bread which is becoming tedious. Now we have our animal friends all cosy in their pens and slightly damp in all of the rain that seems to be happening in the swamp all the time. But I think now it's time for us to go and do some mining. So just across the river, there is a hill and I have started digging a little hole into the side of this hill here. So what I want to do is finish digging all the way down to bedrock on this one. This one goes to just above zero. So if we need some stone, we can just drop down here and dig a whole bunch out. And then also um, that's kind of iron level as well, which is handy. Uh, and yeah, so this one goes down to bedrock. This one I've, I've dug all the way down already and put some water at the bottom. So it's a nice easy land. Uh, so yeah, let's continue digging down this one, get down to bedrock and hopefully find some diamonds. I did also bring all of the ores that I've got so far with me to chuck in this chest over here because like I said about the smelting, I'd really like to have all of my kind of smelting mining supplies over here by the mine. This is what we have so far. I'm gonna use the other chest for what we get. Maybe do like an hour mining and see how much stuff we can get. So that was actually a really successful mining trip. We found quite a lot of diamonds, which is good. Um, we also found a bunch of redstone, some iron, weirdly, um, a bit of golden lapis, but we got six diamonds. Those are just the ones that I actually mined so I just mined out enough for us to make a pickaxe and an enchanting table and there's another like 10 more blocks of diamonds down there that I found and I have left and I'm gonna wait until I can get some fortune and then hopefully get more diamonds per block now though this mine entrance is just looking a bit plain and boring and I think it could do with a bit of decorating
So our mine entrance is all decorated and I'm really happy with how this turned out. I really love this little tunnel underneath into the roots of the mangrove tree. When I kind of first saw the mangrove trees and the way that they spawn, I thought that they were perfect to have something underneath inside their roots. And I think that this just looks really cool and I'm really happy with how this turned out and I think it works really well for a mine entrance as well. These vines are definitely going to keep growing in the way. Maybe we'll do something with them in the future, maybe. But I also added this little dock area. There's a zombie villager. Excuse me, that's my boat. Um... Yes, so I added this dock area as well, which is really cute and makes it really easy to uh, boat across from here to our house and back again. And our house looks so cute from over here. I also added a dock over there by our house and sort of fixed all of our crops and made a path. The kind of pathways are made of the same things and I really like it. I'm, I'm really happy with this kind of colour palette that we've got going on in the swamp here. Um, I really wanted to keep it quite like dark and um, like plain colours, so like greens and browns with just little bits of red for the roof and we've got some little mushrooms and the little bits of red on here. I'm really happy with how this build turned out and I'm really happy that we found some diamonds. I think next episode we will definitely get some enchanting going now that we have the diamonds for it try and get some fortune maybe and if you're still here thank you again for watching and i'll have another episode out soon